Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we are given here, we can factor 3 raised to the power x out. Then we are left with 1 plus 1 here. Then equals to 60 from here. Then next step, we can write this as 3 raised to the power x times 2 here. Then equals to 60 from this side. That is, here we divide both sides by 2. Divide here by 2. Also, divide this side by 2. That these two cancel each other here. And we have 3 raised to the power of x left equals to 60 over 2 here. Then also, we can write this as 3 raised to the power of x equals to 2 times 30 over 2 from here. That is, these two cancel each other. Then we have 3 raised to the power of x equals to 30 on this side. Then here we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 3 raised to the power of x equals to log 30 from here. Then Applying the power law of logarithm, when we have log m raised to the power of p, this is the same thing as p log m. Then here this becomes x log 3 equals to log 30 from here. Then here we divide both sides by log 3. That is, divide this side by log 3 and also divide this side by log 3. Which implies log 3 cancel each other here. Then we are left with x, which is equal to log 30 over log 3. Then also here, we can express 30 as 3 times 10. At this here, we have x equals to log. 3 times 10 then over log 3 here that is what we have here follows when we have log a times b which can be written as log a plus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 10 over log 3. The next step, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 3 then plus log 10 over log 3. Then here, log 3 cancel each other. We have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 3 from here. And also, here we can write 10 as 2 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 then over log 3 here and here also follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 3 then also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 3 then plus log 5 over log 3 then from here when we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b which can be written as 
log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to one plus log two base three then plus log five base three so here we have the value of x in this problem as one plus log two base three plus log five base three now let's check if this satisfy this given problem but this here we substitute the value of x from here which is x equals to one plus log two base three then plus log five base three and what we have becomes three raised to the power one plus log two base three plus log five base three then also plus three raised to the power one plus log two base three then plus log five base three is this equals to sixty on this side then here we have same thing added together so we can say this is two times three raised to the power one plus log two base three then plus log five base three is it equals to 60 from here that is this a follows the law of indices a raised to power m plus n which can be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n at this here we have two times a raised to power one times a raised to power log two base three then times two raised to power log five base three is it equals to sixty on this side then here this becomes two times three raised to the power one is three then times here follows from when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b now this is what we have here becomes two then also times here becomes five is it equals to sixty from this side then here we have two times three six six times two is twelve and twelve times five that's sixty and this is equal to 60 on this side which implies left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye now